If you have a webcam, your picture may be in the hands of British intelligence this morning. An English newspaper says a surveillance program targeted 1.8 million Yahoo users around the world, even though none are suspected of wrongdoing. Elizabeth Palmer looks at the report based on classified documents from NSA leaker Edward Snowden. She's in London. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. This is yet more information about just how invasive the security agency's monitoring programs have been, both here and in the U.S., intercepting vast amounts of private electronic communication, including emails and, of course, now pictures. The Guardian newspaper reports that an official British spy agency, GCHQ, used software provided by the NSA to vacuum up millions of video images from webcam conversations by Yahoo users. That is, it was invisibly eavesdropping on conversations like this, the kind of thing that are used more and more these days to chat or even do business. But because video files are so large, the UK government computers were only capturing one still frame every five minutes. Yahoo, which said it knew nothing about the program, said it amounted to a whole new level of violation of our users' privacy. The Guardian reports the program is codenamed Optic Nerve and it served partly to experiment with face recognition technology. The UK government says the program was entirely legal, but Philip Mudd, a former CIA analyst, says whether it's acceptable is another question. The question this raises is the same question that's raised by the acquisition of phone and email data. It's not whether you can do it. It's whether citizens in Britain and the United States believe their governments should do it. The allegation that the government is not only reading and listening, but also watching our private lives is bound so to I intensify that debate. There is one thing, though, that's got Britons laughing this morning, Anthony and Nora. It's the revelation in the GCHQ documents that their analysts had to be warned to use caution when they were looking at the intercepts because up to 11 percent of them contain what it called undesirable nudity. Incredible. Elizabeth Palmer, thank you.